Double XL has released their annual freshman cover, and this one has had some uh, lackluster responses, to say the least. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> let me uh, iterate the people who made this uh, cover, shall we? <clears throat> so we have Anderson Pac, 21 Savage, Kodak Black, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Dicky, Dave East, Denzel Curry, Designer, G Herbo, and Lil Yachty. Now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this. I have heard of three of the artists that well no no sorry there are three artists in the, in on that on that list in particular that actually has the potential mm -hmm. which is Anderson Pac, Lil Dicky and Dave East. The rest I'm either unfamiliar with or I've heard before and they're not that great. So um Ikel, before I go in on a rant, <laughs> what is your take on the cover? Well, similarly to you, I was counting when you read the list. I'm like, yeah, I only know three people. Who are these people? Yeah. So I don't understand. Like, it's supposed to be like this, you know, a pre-accolade. So before you win any awards or anything, like, you're honored. Like, it's the freshman class. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to do so good. Like, yo, like, we're watching you. We're proud of you. That's yeah. sick. But, yeah, I know, like, three people. Mm -hmm. And with designer, I'm not trying to hate on him, but, mm -hmm. like, he has one song. A panda, a panda, a panda. Right? <laughs> he has one song. Like, is he really... That good? Like, how, how do you get on this? <sighs> did Connie, like, nudge them? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I have been purchasing many of those freshman covers for years, ever since the first one, where I had Joel Ortiz, Pat Poos, Lupe Fiasco, and all these people. And then, from then on, it continued to progress. Like, you had guys like Wale on the cover. Mm -hmm. You had guys like Big Sean on the cover. Sai High the Prince. Big Crit, Meek mm -hmm. Mill. Mind you, there have been a few misses over the years that they have included in, like Nicki Minaj, they never included right. Drake, ASAP Rocky, whatever the case may be. But I feel like with the last maybe three years now, mm -hmm. they've only had, the majority of the people that they've had on the cover are like your gimmick trendy rappers. The rappers who yeah. have like the hot singles today, but the ones that you won't hear about tomorrow. Like, oh, where is Bobby Shmurda right now? You know what you. I mean? <laughs> where is flipping, where is Iggy Azalea right now? Where like there's a lot of people who were on that cover before who are now absent because they had that one single mm -hmm. and then they just took their money and left or they couldn't pump out anything else creative off out of the bank mm -hmm. and to me it almost ruins Double XL's credibility because yeah. people look to Double XL as like the number one publication for hip hop basically because they kind of took that mantle away from the source mm -hmm. but now that they're in control of it it's almost like they're abusing their power it's almost as if they didn't try to go out and look for for people who are of good caliber that yeah. we can listen to for food for food for thought. They're not even trying to mix it up like have like one half of it like really good arts and the other half of it your trendy ones, whatever, yeah. right? You can at least do that and then we can be somewhat okay with it. And then the thing that kinda of tripped me out the most is the fact that there are no female artists yeah. on, on this list. So like girl, where yeah, like where's like Rhapsody, where's Nitty Scott? Like there are so many like dope female artists that could have been on the cover, it's true. but then you left out. So I feel like Double XL did a disservice to their fans or readership. And I almost think that they insulted our intelligence by thinking that we're only listening to the gimmicky ringtone rappers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like we don't care about pandas, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like they did us a disservice, man. And like it's just disheartening because I'm a fan of Double XL and like I love their freshman covers because I'm always looking for what's new, what's fresh, mm. and what's exciting. You know, if it weren't for Double XL, I probably wouldn't have listened to someone like Wally or Charles Hampton yeah. and stuff like that. Maybe even Logic to, to a certain degree. But again, they let us down, in my personal opinion. Yeah, and like, where's there no Canadians, though? Yeah, exactly. You know, where's our rich kid? Where's John River? Mm -hmm. Where's Jazz Cartier? Like, where, doing where, good. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing, doing very good. well. Like, like Darren Folana, like, so, so many of these guys are doing well. Where's our Ekel? Like, like, well, yeah. like, Wagwan, uh -oh. you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I feel like they really, they really, you know, missed the mark with this one. And I'm being mm -hmm. very polite when I say that. Because <laughs> they epically failed this time. I think this is probably their worst freshman cover that I've ever seen. Because yeah, all I saw were a bunch of dudes with, like, with like, mm, with like nasty doo doo plat right. dreads. It looks kind of clowny. Like <laughs> nasty grills that look like they haven't had a dental plan in years. Stop. I mean, there's so <laughs> much trash. Like, you know what the funny thing was actually? Someone put up a meme of the freshman cover and instead of the rappers, <laughs> that was a bunch of trash bags. <laughs> oh, I seen it in the one white one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, mind you, they should have done Lil Dicky like that, because Lil Dicky's actually nice. Like, he's a comedic rapper, but he has bars, though. The man can rap. 
Aerosmith Pac is a very good all around artist. He can rap and he can sing. Okay. Dave East is like an aggressive young fifty who signed under Nas. Basically, I haven't heard his music, but I've heard good reviews about him thus yeah. far. Everyone else, ugh, like no substance. You know what I mean? It's a generation, man. It's just People a generation. just want to turn up. Yeah, that, that's all there is, man. It's a shame. Mm. That's something that I can't turn up to, unfortunately. Aww. But <laughs> what do you guys think? Listening at home right now, live on the airwaves. Listening in the future on SoundCloud. Or watching the YouTube clips later on. Hit me up on Twitter at DM underscore cool or cool underscore radio. Let me know your thoughts. Cool.